about what is happening from the outside to your application. Before we go a little uh, deeper uh, into uh, the demo and, and how, uh, how we are going to set up the code, let us see at the high level how exactly it works. So uh, we are familiar with this term called as role. So on the Windows Azure virtual machine, that is role instance, we have a role. It could be web role, VM role, or it could be worker role. So let us hope that that is the role which we have. On the same role instance, so this box is representing as a virtual machine. And this is box which is actually a, a process which is running that role, web role or worker role. So when we start, the first the role instance starts and then the diagnostics monitor starts. And this is the different process. You can see it's a separate process. It's called a diagnostics monitors. Then the, the binding between the role and diagnostics monitor is done through the configuration. So we say monitor is configured and, and there are multiple ways to configure that monitor. There could be imperatively at start time, like you write a specific code, then you can do that remotely using PowerShell command scripts or uh, some other code. And this uh, configuration, whatever we change, okay, or whatever we put down, it is stored in the storage, in the blob. We'll see where it is stored. And uh, that is what actually makes the uh, role that is what makes uh, the diagnostics monitoring accessible to the role by using the configurations. And when uh, we start logging the information, or when you start tracing, providing the trace information from the role, that whole information is actually uh, stored or buffered locally. When I say locally, inside this virtual machine, which is running the Windows Azure Web or Docker role. And this local directory storage is transferred to storage of Azure using this diagnostics monitor process. And this transfer, it, it, there are two ways to do this transfers. You could do that on demand, I mean you can explicitly call some method or some code on the diagnostics monitor either remotely or with some other process running on the same virtual machine or you can schedule it uh, when we configure about configure about a monitor when we configure our diagnostics uh, monitoring configuration. You can say that every one minute, every two minutes, I want to transfer this uh, locally di local directory storage, which is nothing but your uh, diagnostic information to storage. And we can provide what account and what uh, storage account which we want to transfer to. As of now, this information is always transferred to Windows Azure Storage. And there are mechanisms by which you can write your own trace listeners and transfer it to any other storage wherever you want. Interesting point to note here is it can be scheduled or it could be on demand. On demand means you explicitly call a method saying that now transfer the logs. Uh, how does it work? Again, we are just seeing it in a little uh, detailed way. So here you have uh, Azure VM instance, then you have a web or worker application which is logging to your log local storage, that is trace file and counters. And this diagnostic monitoring service is always running and it is uh, getting this information. And it's transferring that information to Azure Storage, and if you if you look at it, depending on the type of log which has been captured from the log, it will either transfer to the blob or respective tables. So there are multiple tables which it which it uses for uh, logging the information. The most generally used one is where the logs table. This is Azure table where uh, the standard logging which we do, like system .trace log trace or information that will be passed to VAD logs table in Azure storage. VAD performance counters table as the name indicates separate table for uh, capturing performance counters like memory usage, CPU usage, etc. And this will be transferred by diagnostics monitoring service to this tables. The idea here is uh, in our application we just have to mention that I want to capture this information and then everything else diagnostic monitor will take care transfer to the Azure storage. We don't have to worry about it. 